headed to the end of the Cassia Highway. I'm standing in the Yukon now. The last part of that Cassia Highway was not really fun because there was a lot of water pooling. Tried to film it, but the road was really bumpy and couldn't keep the camera still. But we're in the Yukon now. Watson Lake and this is the signpost forest apparently in the 40s when they started building the Alaska Highway there was a guy who was homesick and he put his sign with the mileage from here to his home on the tree here and that's what they've been doing ever since and up till now there are about 80,000 signs here and it's still growing every day so we're gonna see if we're gonna find some nice spots New Minus, Nova Scotia, and then Nijmegen, which is relatively close to where we used to live. And the funny part is, we have friends in New Minus. And they live in, and they Nijmegen. Live in Nijmegen. Yeah, they used to live there. Yeah. Each time. 7,777 kilometers. Years ago, when I was visiting uh, on vacation with my parents, we broke down with our car and we had to stay in each time for, I think it was about a week before the car got fixed and we could get home. to leave Watson Lake. We stayed overnight at the visitors information parking lot. You will arrive at your destination at 12.17. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's the off. aim for today. Even though you don't need it here because there are not a lot of roads <laughs> where you can get lost, but it's nice to see how far we still have to go. Yeah. So today we're gonna drive the Alaskan Highway. At Yesterday least, yeah. we left the Kasari. Kasari Highway. Which was beautiful. Yes. And now we're gonna do the Alaskan Highway on our way to Whitehorse. <laughs> <laughs> I always mix up Yellowknife yes. and Whitehorse, so time to leave again. to check out the Ranchero Falls but I think the road will end up for here for me well we will be back here in a couple of weeks when we return from Dawson City so maybe next time maybe this should have given it away already that there's still a lot of snow on this trail Johnson Crossing, because according to the lady in the visitor center in Watson Lake. Watson Lake, they have the best scones ever. So, that's the scone. Martin is gonna taste it. What's the verdict? I think. They're moist. 
Okay. That's good. And you know what's even more funnier? But the the lady. Old. Okay. The lady who was helping us, we started talking. She's from Nova Scotia. She's moving back in August to Truro. <laughs> That's where we are from. So we said, we'll see you in Truro. <laughs> and now I'm going to taste it. I'm doing it differently. I just put a big layer of butter on top. Mm. For more, huh? This is how you should eat them. Let me try it. I'm gonna enjoy them further. <laughs> what a nice campground, Wolf Creek. They even provide you with the wood for free. There's one downside for the people who live in the Yukon. They got a permit and they can stay on a campground for 14 days. So they just park the vans and then they leave and they come back only in the weekend. So on this campground there were only four spots available. We're at Miles Canyon, really close to Whitehorse. Not the Grand Canyon, but it's a canyon. This is the SS Klondike in the White Horse in the Yukon. But sadly enough, they're working. So we cannot go in and we can only see half the boat. Looks like we're finally leaving Whitehorse. Instead of one night, we stayed two nights in Wolf Creek Campground. Because yesterday, just before we were leaving, we decided to have the back tires replaced. We had a flat tire in Texas, and they put a plug in it, and it kept us going up until here. But because we're going on the which highway is it now? Klondike Highway. The Klondike Dawson. Highway to Dawson. We decided better safe than sorry because two days ago we saw two RVs standing. They were stranded along the road with ten tires. Still no guarantee. But no, it's no guarantee. So we're going into the direction of Dawson City. Look at my kitchen for today. Me. Me kitchen. Twin Lake Campgrounds. Isn't it wonderful? So I cook outside and Martin makes the salad inside. Which is so difficult because I mix a couple of bags together and mix it up and I'm done. <laughs> Dawson City, 405 kilometers. Montague Roadhouse historic site. This is where the stagecoaches were stopping going from Whitehorse to Dawson City and vice versa of course. It's one of three which were built and it's the only one still standing. We're crossing the only bridge over the Yukon River on the highway from Dawson to Whitehorse and it's at Carmack. The hub of the Yukon. 